Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. I am standing in front, basically looking at the rear of my P800 from Epson. I have the new or the third chip decoder board that came in just today. I installed it according to the instructions. It's quite an easy process if you're really good and have super slender fingers. Okay, this is where I'm gonna get a little sexist. A lady with very thin, delicate hands can do this better than any man with fat fingers like me can do. So it takes a bit of practice to get it correctly, but when these chips are being recognized correctly, and notice I have not plugged in this decoder board to power yet, but let me swing around to the other side. Here's the one that I'm returning. full recognition of all the cartridges. So now all I have to do is top off all my refillables and proceed to print. Hopefully when it comes time to reset one of them, this will work. Of course, at that point, you'll have to plug in the power source, which is a AC type adapter to this little port right here. An LED light will come on. You just basically press the button to do a global reset. All the cards will be brought up to full at one time so that is it finally the third one worked now i spoke to precision colors they purchased three of these as well so they will have them in stock and he also experienced the same problem i did with the first one none of the cartridges were recognized and so he has to return that one to china the second one he installed worked perfectly he discovered that you do not have to necessarily plug this into power because really the power source is only used during the reset. So right now it is reading a set of ID numbers or serial numbers from all nine of these chips. And these chips are right back here. So you can see them right there. You see three of them. The other two are covered by the protective sticky, double sticky material. I will go ahead and mount this to the rear of the printer and have it ready to roll whenever I need to reset. It'll just be a matter of having it right here. I press the button and you get a reset. Whew, that is it folks. Finally, a working decoder board. And finally, I'm able to use this workhorse with that roll adapter that I will remount on it as soon as possible will be able to print to our heart's content. You can use whatever ink you want if you're using refillable cartridges, even my OEM cartridges, which are uh, in a box waiting on the aisle. I can actually modify those for refilling. And I could use inks from other sure color Epson printers that you can buy cartridges for in larger volumes. And you can print OEM quality at a much more reduced price. All right, that is it. I just wanted to share this bit of a success story finally with you guys. Tomorrow I will be shipping back the second decoder, the one that had just one chip not being recognized. All right, that is it. I am a happy camper now, and we will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Okay, before we go, let me show you how I mounted this. I have the roll adapter mounted and of course that has to be attached here and here. So you have to be careful where you actually going to attach your board. And you can see that I did it vertically. I will then plug in my plug here and then use the reset button like so. That is it. Again, if I did not have this adapter installed the roll adapter that is I would not have to have gone through that extent as far as the mounting goes but just a little uh, heads up for you guys who do have the roll adapter all right bye bye